DJ Larry Love, you know, it's hot live, hip hop daily, it's the cook up Atlanta. My brother DJ Vito couldn't make it, you know, family first, you know, this pandemic got shit crazy. My boy probably still stuck in Chicago. But from Chicago to Detroit, you know, the OG in here, man, Big Vaughn. And, you know, before we introduce your artist, man, uh, Big Vaughn, man, what's up, man? Critically acclaimed, man. I like to say first, man. And I like to big niggas up, man, if people don't know, man. This this guy's responsible for a lot of big tracks from your Ice Cube to the Feddies to the 50s to the Commons to the Jeezys. I'm talking about real critically acclaimed, man. Big Vaughn, you know, D to the A, man. I got the big niggas up and give them niggas they flowers while they here, bro. So how you feeling today, Big Vaughn? First of all, happy birthday, oh, brother. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Happy birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Old head now. Nah, nah so hell no. Nah. Nah, you know? Hell no, nah, hell no, nah, man. So 40 plus that appreciate it for having us, man. Shout out to Larry Love. Man, last time I seen you, man, it was a, you was you produced the Ice Cube track. I don't know if I yeah. seen it on the com I don't know if I seen it was a clip that Ice and he said he actually said your name about the track that yeah, you produced. Yeah. That was 19, 2019, um, 2018. That was last year, yeah. It was on uh, Everything Corrupt album. Um he was actually on the sway show. I think that was. Okay. Shout out okay. to the Independent. Um shout out to Sean Ski, you know, Magneto. Um, Sparks, you know, on our big size, the rest of my squad. It's a production company I run, so I don't take all the credit for everything. You know, we definitely. come together we as a hits. team. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We come together as a team and uh, make sure it's right before we play it for an artist or send it out. That's facts, know? that's facts, man. So, man, you know, after I didn't give you your roses, man, it's time to see what's jumping out the jumping out the streets of Detroit now, man, because I know you're not going to get behind anybody, man, first nah. and foremost, if a nigga just, just because he say he a rapper, man. Yeah. So I know if you get behind a new artist, it got to be something that's really there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So who, who so first of all, introduce yourself to the world, bro. Oh, what up, though, man? I'm Marcel Anthony. Marcel Anthony. Yeah, from what? the city of Detroit, man. So and You straight from Detroit. I'm talking about you never probably been in Atlanta more than five hours straight from Detroit. Uh, I, I mean, I, I done been here a few times, but okay. yeah, I'm definitely straight from Detroit. Okay, word, word. So, Big Vaughn, man, first before I holler at Marcel, man, what made you think it's 2020, this pandemic, first off, you focusing on the artists, man, there gotta be some serious shit. Like nobody, yeah. like Live Nation is canceling performances at major venues. Mm -hmm. Artists can't go to FM radios for interviews. Yeah. So for you to really find the independent artist to take serious, what did it for you? Um, I mean, really consistency, you know, and um, you know, he told me he's been watching my grind and how I work with other artists, you know, we had Drew up here. He was on the road with Drew. Okay, you know, shout out to how Drew doing, you know, man? Drew doing his thing, you okay. know what I'm saying? Uh, keeping it back in the studio recording. Okay. But, you know, he, he went on the road with us, and uh, he had a chance to see, you know, being on tour and doing all that. I just like people who like to see their career and in, invest into it also and then bring raw talent, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, so many people in my inbox last night asked me to manage them. I don't know none of them. Damn. How you ask somebody to manage you and you don't even know me, I don't know you, you got to start some kind of friendship or business relationship first. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm just right. not going to manage somebody just because you asked me or you asked me to listen to your music. That's not how that works. Okay. And a lot of people got to know the definition of a manager because a manager is not somebody to take on the role as paying for everything that you need. That's sure. not what a manager that's do. Investor. If the artist is not making the money, the manager is not making the money. That's and that's along with the team, the that's whole facts. squad, whether it be the videographer, whether it be the assistant, you know right. what I'm saying? Whether it be, you know, the person who handle all the day-to-day -day tasks. If the artist is not doing their job, that's no facts. one gets paid if that's you have facts. a team. That's facts. This is why it's called teamwork. There's no I in teams. And a lot of people say, I did it on my own. How the hell you do all that on your own, brother? It's yeah. no way you got the talent, but you still got to surround yourself with a team. That's real. That's real. You ain't did shit on it. Actually, it's no I in teams. Yeah. So with that said, so how does it feel, Marcel, man, to be... First and foremost, man, how, uh, how you feel this morning, brother? I feel good, man. Feel <laughs> you know, so good. we got to check on our black brothers, I feel brothers, good. Man. I feel good. You know I woke I mean? up. I prayed. Right. Uh, was you ever nervous at some point about this situation? Because you knew it was coming fast. It probably got here faster than you thought. You know what? I was. But naturally, this is me, man. Okay. You know, things things happen a, a, a lot quicker than I expected. But. Okay. Okay. That's how you know it was for you, though. Yeah, absolutely. The okay. record moving. You know. Um, What's the record we pushing? Uh, right now, let me breathe, featuring my dog Sada Baby. Okay, you know, shout um, to Sada Baby. Sada Baby's from Detroit as well. Too, yeah, right? he also from Detroit. Yeah, We're man. both from the east. You supposed to be in Atlanta too. What Sada Baby at, man? Sada on fire right now. Yeah. I don't know. Fire. Sada, Sada got the number one. Uh, nah, actually, he in Vegas right now. Yeah, okay. he in Vegas. Okay. Right okay. Now. So, so, so when Sada see this interview, he gonna definitely run it back. He gonna support, he gonna be like he should have been supporting this track. Absolutely, track yeah. About. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, yeah, shout out to Sada because he showed love, man. The video gonna be crazy. You know, um, a lot of artists when you, you know, have artists on the song, they necessarily don't stay for the whole process. You mm. know, they come do their thing, 
and get yeah, the hell right. off. But he really came and vibed with everybody. And that's that Detroit love, everybody. too. I'm pretty sure Detroit love. You know, but when he, everybody don't just vibe with everybody like that. It okay. was a serious process to this. You know what I'm word, saying? Word, You know, I, I had a whole cast and crew, and this was real work. So when you knew you had the juice though, because I'm pretty sure you knew you had the juice ten years ago. It was something you did ten Absolutely. years ago. What Absolutely. was that first? What was that first like thing you think uh, you did ten years ago? To know like you know what I'm gonna be some shit that's gonna be on TV or uh, on the internet one day that's gonna be a sensation. Well, I just always had it in me, man. I okay. just knew this was gonna be me, me okay. anyway. You knew this what it was. Just what I do. You it's know what I'm saying? This was you in a group or was you always? No, I, I started from church, man. Mm, you that's know, that's all you I had to say. From church. That's you all you had to say. That's all you had to say. It just went from there, man. I've been singing all my life. Okay, so you more of, uh, so okay, so it's more of a you more of an artist. I'm an artist. Absolutely. So you not don't put you in the box of a singer, rapper, or just a music like. Nah, because I'm a singer, rapper, a, 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 a actor. You know, okay. I do it all. You know, okay. This is this is a, a ongoing thing for me. You know what I mean? And I this, this record label is mine. That's hard. Marcel Anthony Music Group, and I also plan on signing artists later. You okay. Know what I mean? Okay. So yeah. But how how does that situation? But it's a time for that though. Of course, you, yeah, yeah, you got you got to be the breadwinner first. I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, with Big Vaughn and your corner, I'm pretty sure y'all got a, a, a laid out itinerary and agenda, man. I'm pretty sure this is just like the stepping stone. How many interviews you got this weekend? Oh uh, man, uh, I know I got three today. Three today. Uh, two further in the week. Damn. Um, so it's it's just really building, man. And um, everybody liked the record. They you know they feel the vibe. But let me breathe and. The climate of what's going on right now, you know what I'm saying, around the world with police brutality and this this shit that's going on, with, you know, Facts. with the uh, Breonna Taylor situation. That situation is crazy, um, man. This is my first time on camera since, yeah. the, since they made the decision, you know. What I'm yeah, saying? and I see they tearing up stuff wow, here, man. you know, with the protests, but his song alone, you know, because everybody thinks about that when they see the title, Let Me Breathe. Let Me Breathe is already an algorithm in the internet because of the George, you know, Floyd thing. So yeah. they got Let Me Breathe or shirts, you know, Matt, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so this was perfect. So we shot trended, the video. Right. The video is amazing because I added an element of that in the video where we had a protest scene and everything. Shout out to my cast director, Max. You know, we treat this really like a movie. It's not like a regular. It's going to be a short film. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I think we did a good job on it as a Shout team. out to Live Sosa too, man. We flew Sosa in from Arkansas, yeah, man. Yeah, I put a director a I never job. worked with. He you know what I'm saying? I seen his stuff. I'm like, yo, we flew, you know, flew the guy in. I'm like, yo, he got some. I want to see what he's going to do. And this job. is his first time shooting with, um, with Sada Baby, too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, Everybody um, was excited about the record uh, along, you know, just just for uh, just for that feature to be on there. Yeah, you right. know what I mean. He was just excited to be a part of part of it. And so, yo, I like the in the new trend is yo. Make sure you promoting this song more than six months or three months because mm -hmm. I've been seeing it. the trend of like songs don't get promoted no like the song that's the songs that's catching on now in Atlanta. The songs that's been trending for two or three, maybe a year or two. That's to crazy. Yeah. Wow. To yeah. be honest with you, the songs yeah. that's been catching on in so I've. Feel when artists come from other places, they feel like they got to drop it. If it don't work for them mm. in three or six months, they got to, you know. I, I understand it's a whole project sometimes or EP that you're working on, but I like that you have a single. You already mm. got your feature. It sounds like this shit is already made. You already mm. got the video shot. Or yeah. are y'all shooting or it's already shot? Oh, shot. We shot it. Yeah, we shot it. Did, did y'all bring it with us? Or we got something else we brought with us. He's adding it right now. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, so, by, so next time that I talk to, we can, oh yeah, we can, I'm we can. Send it to you. That shit gonna be fire, bro. Because, okay. you know, like I said, it ain't a regular video. It's just okay. a whole. It's a movie. It's a vibe. It's it's a whole different element of life in there. It's a vibe. So okay. many different. Okay, it's crazy. Just wait for it, man. It's coming. And, and then on top of that, it's it's really your team effort. You want to involve your whole team in something. You know what I'm saying? Because right. when you do that, they're gonna respect you more. D. Rob is another. He's an actor, and you know, an artist as well. So I try to involve everybody I work with in anything that we do. Um, right. But you know, back to this, it'll be edited in probably about another five days. So it's gonna yeah. be something dope. I was just talking to my partner uh, yesterday. Matter of fact, I was talking. I think I was talking to Gambino about that. But Detroit is coming up. Yeah. I'm, I'm not not coming up like it wasn't yeah. already here, but. Detroit has like a little hot we got fire. All the underground the rappers, man. you know, artists. That's you know what, what I'm saying? Is, so, yeah. Which, what would you? I, I'm gonna put. I'm okay. T Grizzly was jumping. What started 2000? T Grizzly made a big boom. Yeah. What was that 2017? Yeah. Um, and then of course the biggest boom that came was then the 42 Dub yeah. boom came. Yeah. But I think since that boom came, it's been stuck since yeah. that song. That and people understand that song has been playing in yeah. Atlanta since like. But uh, it's a producer who early, who actually put a lot of them brothers on. Hell of a, it's a you know, which I I know you heard of Hell of a. Hell of a is a producer out of Detroit. Okay. Who started with a lot of these cats. You know what I'm saying? He didn't produce everybody in the Midwest. It starts so from the, yeah, it starts from producers. singles is because of that brother right there, you know, and I, you know, I, um, I salute Hell of a because he didn't put a lot of And you of a producer, so yeah. you a producer, so yeah. another producer. I, I love it. We go back about 18 years. Okay, oh, so yeah, he ain't he nobody. Oh, this is a, oh, he an OG as well. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, so that's hard. Shout that's out to hell of a I th Okay, so 
with that Detroit when when that when y'all know y'all have that sound, do most of the producers like kind of support these the artists that's working? Or do y'all? How, well, he do. Okay. Yeah, I know he do because he can produce on everybody. Like <laughs> okay. I don't know about everybody else. Like okay. um, it's a few in the city, you know, that's that's shaking. It's another one. Um, I forget dudes. Name. Oh, Pooh Beats. Pooh Beats. You okay. know Pooh Beats, and he and he on everybody. I heard stuff. of Pooh Beats. My, so, my yeah. dog, it's a DJ Leary love. Is it? Is it? I know a little. Yeah, uh, I, I, yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I, I, that's my he dog. Jimmy one day. I thought it was you. I'm like, that's yeah. my dog. He DJ at a strip club up yeah. there in Detroit. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what strip club, but he with Coalition. You know, shout to Coalition yeah. DJs. But me and him planning, we were just talking about planning something up there in Detroit. Yeah. One of these days, man. But you can name the producers out of yeah. the D that's really, you know, got names up on them that produce on a lot of industry artists. And, you know, that's Pooh Beats, hell of a big side. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's uh it's too, and they, those are the ones who get a torch to these right, artists. Right, you right. Know, if you got a hot ass beat and you come with the fire, yeah. you know that you got something. I like that. So Marcel, so what what you think you what you kick into this, this industry? I mean, it's 2020, like coming out of Atlanta, we feel like everybody's already a celebrity. We feel like everybody's a public figure, right? <laughs> and it's, that's just what it is. Like yeah. so, what do you think is going to be your twist to the game? Like what you think you're going to bring as an independent? Are you? A, I mean, you say you can sing. You actually come from the church, so I get all that. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, me, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just different in all aspects anyway. Man. Okay, I'm just different, but I, I, I really, I really want to bring R&B back, man. Mm. You don't hear that sound no more, for real. You can stick with that. That's and that's hard. what I want to do. You know, that's I mean? hard. Uh, I was uh, just saying that. Hearing, hearing this record with me and Sada was more of me introducing myself of, you know, who I am as a person. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? And let me breathe was is, 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 is more of me telling people to leave me alone. That's and, real. And, and That's stay, real. You know, just leave me alone. That's real. Saying it in, a, in another way, but I'm bringing real R and B back, man. I got another single that's coming um, on the 15th of uh, September, and it's called "Doing the Most." That's and hard. I shot the video for that yeah. the day before. I shot the video for "Sot with Me and Sada." So I like to look at R and B as a four lane highway and rap as a two lane highway. You know what I'm saying? It lives forever, man. You know what I mean? And the reason I give R and B so many lanes is because R and B is more timeless music. Not that rap can't be timeless music. True. But, you know, more of that R and B, more of your uh your rhythm, more of your got something to say music. Absolutely. And and we always it's always a reason for you to, you know, uh turn it on at night. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, and right, right. Vibe you know to at, at right. a certain time. So that's it. Turn right. it on at night and do what though? Right. Well, like, come on now. <laughs> right, right. He's about turn it on at night and do what? He's about turn it on at night and do what? He keep he keep but, he keep the PG. Let's show the bike and give it to him. He, <laughs> <laughs> he keeping it PG but, right now. No, nah, man, but it's I'm 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 keeping it real. I mean, yeah. I ain't I ain't I ain't keeping it PG. Yeah, okay. I'm just saying. I got you. You know, my music is is to entertain, right? Not just one crowd, right? But I'm really bringing it back for the ladies, though. I got you. you I got you. And the Sex Appeal series, right, all right. of that. I miss the times when you had more than five R&B. The Music Soul Childs, the Donnell Jones, the I'm talking about. I don't know if you. These, I'm talking about real. You know what I'm saying? Like can I, put an album. Like, and I miss the songwriters. You know what I mean? The real right, songwriters. Right. Well, you know I, mean? I write. I write mm-hmm. as well. I'm okay. also writing for some people as right, well. So. Right. That's dope, man. So JB, do we want to drop the video now? We want to wait till later interview, uh, introduce this video because I heard you brought some shit with you. Yeah, I actually mm-hmm. bought the single. I brought the single with me. Okay, okay. You brought the single so, with you. So here I go, world, Atlanta, from Detroit to the A, Marcel Anthony, Let Me Breathe, okay. featuring Sada Bay. Yeah, before, uh, and before we leave, before we leave, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go out with the video. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go out. I want you to, coming from Detroit, it's going to be somebody to see this interview, bro. Like, it's going to be your, your people, your supporters. Absolutely. I mean, people that's behind Big Vaughn. Sada Baby going to see this interview, the people that's behind him. Like, what can you promise people? That Parcel is gonna do, you know what I mean? Like, what can what? Because I already heard your mission. You bring an R and B back, but what can people promise that you're gonna, um, I guess, deliver every time? Because sometimes I think artists look at the I'm past the clout chasing perspective of things. Like I'm. Well, I'm. I'm. A, I'm. A, I know I'm always be consistent. Okay. I'm always bring good music. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna keep it real with y'all too. I'm gonna always keep it real with y'all. That's dope. That's dope. And, and it's the fourth quarter right here, right? It's there. the fourth quarter, man. It's time. Yeah, it's time. It's time. It's time. If you it's have time. anything going on. You better do it now. Now that's the light. I mean, but I'm 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 finna bring the music hard. Right. Hard. And and I like to ask a current event before before we uh before artists leave. So um and not that you got to tune in on it, but do you think it was a perfect time for uh Tory Lanez to drop an album this past weekend? Being that that whole situation. I mean, you don't have to chime in on it. You know what I'm saying? uh, Being an artist, but I mean, I like to speak from from one current event. And I was talking to people. You know, let me give you my spiel, right? You know, Alicia Keys had the album come out the last two weeks. Um. Uh, Lil Wayne Deluxe album came out. I think The Weeknd dropped a single, right? But mm-hmm. I think the fact that he already had this target on his back, it just looks so crazy. <laughs> so that's my, I mean, I'm not going deep into it, 
but I think. I, I don't I don't I don't think it was the best idea to because do it the way he did. Yeah, you being an R and B right. cat, you know Tory's in the R and B lane. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask the question to another R and B. You know what I'm saying? What you want to say? Big fun? Come on, man. I'm I'm gonna drop on that. It's all publicity. Okay. For one, you know what I'm saying, and uh, shout out to Tory. I you know I fuck with Tory. You know we got Tory on a couple of records too. But I mean I, I see what people are doing. I mean if if that's something you want to. Bad publicity is good publicity today. If y'all don't know that by now, when you look at stuff on the internet, you see like, damn, why they do that? It's the reason why they did that because they put something they got behind it because they know the world's going to see it right. in that light. So even if the situation did happen when him and Megan, I just feel like it was both publicity on both of their parts. True. They both hot right now. Megan is on fire right now. So I think this was something to put more attention on them. And that's what artists doing this business. Right. Just so y'all know, y'all think it's, it's a lot true. of this stuff is playing is publicity. You know what I'm saying? It's going to you know, further your career to put you in the next level and put you in position to win. Well, you ain't going to catch me doing no shit like that. <laughs> I ain't shooting nobody in the foot and no stupid <laughs> shit like that. For hey, man, we, let's hope not. I ain't really it. see no blood on her feet. When I, from the video, so you shot somebody in the foot. Your shit's supposed to be either falling off a toe, a toenail, yeah. nah, nah, you know, a nub, something. So crazy, crazy. When she man, got out, she got out. I've been getting... With no trail of blood nowhere. Man, like I said, I... I'm just a fan of music, yo, and I listen to a couple <laughs> songs off that shit. They boy, said the, they, I said, heard they said the whole thing is about her. Yo, I don't know who it's about or what it's about, but that's some great fucking. I, we we, we got to get Tory. Is his he Tory can flow too. He's yeah. not just saying that that but boy can rap. Like I, I understand why the, the black women feel how they feel towards him right now. You know, mm. I do get it, so I don't want to lay in too much on it because I'm yeah. taking the side. Yeah. But um, the be the fact that it, it dropped yesterday. And, and, I mean, he lost ten million. The man lost ten million since this whole scenario. Like I was listening to mm. what he was saying. He, he lost. Through this whole saga, he lost about ten million dollars. So I mean, if you lose that, if I lose a thousand dollars, I'm I'm hot. You know what I'm saying? So if a nigga lose a ten million, I mean, I but he'll bounce back. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. you know, when you saw the like, he'll bounce back. Yeah, yeah. Tory is a great dope. artist. That's dope. dope. Absolutely. So let's 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 introduce your track before you get out here. You know what I'm saying? Fuck Tory Lanez for a couple minutes, couple <laughs> seconds. You know what I mean? Let's introduce your shit before you leave. <laughs> Once again, man, let me breathe. Featuring Soda Baby. World, y'all gotta get this, man. Let's go. Let's do it, man. Live hip hop deli to cook up Atlanta, man. Let's drop that shit, JB. Yeah. I like to smoke a little bit. Mm. I like to drink a little too. Mm. I like to sleeping on Sunday. Even though I know I should be in church Thanking God for all the big booty women That he created Good Lord, it don't make no sense I like to stay in my lane Do my own thing Lay back and stack up my chips I like to flex on my ex bitch With my new bitch Big petty my mood, oh yeah It's kinda funny how the niggas with no money Wanna tell me how to get rich But ain't a damn thing changed I'ma play my own game You can't tell me shit So just let me breathe If I 